How's everyone doing? I'm not dead. I just kind of went silent for a few weeks because, I don't know, I got started getting picky about my footage. Like I'd record something, I think it'd be okay. And then I'd look at it and be like, eh, this is crap, I don't want to post this. So that's kind of how my mentality has been going and keeping me from posting anything at all. But I have gotten better at reading roads a little bit in the meantime. I already did a video on that, but it was crap. And I've been feeling like not uploading it, which is bad. Because I probably should just go ahead and upload it anyway. There we go. I've chosen not to commute on my bike anymore. Primary reason is because I don't, like I have to park on the other side of the store I work at. Because I'm not allowed to park out right where my department is. So even though I have an alarm on here, because it's not a paging alarm, I don't really trust my bike out there. I've left it a few times, but I just, I just don't like having to. So I just don't, I take my car, which is proving beneficial for two reasons first of all because it saves my bike for leisure time and second of all because I have my music plugged into my car and I don't have any music mp3 device for my helmet oh shit I ran wide I was expecting in the other direction So that was the opposite of what Nathan needed to do. I'm supposed to approach from the outside and go inwards. That was a mistake of just uh, forgetting which turn was coming up. So I thought it was this one here. Yay! Person get oh darn it! Changed your mind at the last second. You just had to. You had to. I should have turned there. Darn it. You make me mad. Sure, take up the whole road. You pay taxes for the whole road. Use the whole road! I'm gonna turn around here. Go into that other sand, that other street. So I have my music in my car, and I've been able to appreciate it a little bit more. Boop. And one of the things I'll do is once I get an album, I'll just play it over and over and over and over again until I get bored of it, because it's just so new and it's rare that I ever get album. Oh, no, of course you have to take that road. Oh well, I haven't been here in a while. I just take it anyway. Bird, I almost ran you over, stupid thing. <clears throat> but one of the albums I recently purchased was, uh, what do you call it? That's what it was. What do you call it? I should do that. I should make a band and my first album will be What Do You Call It? Maybe that'll be my band name. What do you call it? No, my band name will be What's Their Name? And our first album would be What Do You Call It? And I'll be like the only one. But no. Uh, it's uh, what do you, I was about to say What Do You Call It again. It's a bad habit. It's mind work Perils of the Deep Blue by Cyrenia I found them on the interbuts like I find all my stuff and I found them while I was like listening to the on YouTube the full version of um, what do you call it oh my goodness <laughs> that's going to be my catchphrase what do you call it I was listening on YouTube to Scar Symmetry Morphogenesis, that's what it was. And that linked me to uh, Persephone Spiritual Migration, and then that linked me over to Cyrenia. And then I bought that one. Oh, this is just a circuit, isn't it? 
But I had to buy the hard copy, which I never do. I usually just get Amazon MP3 download. I had to buy the hard copy because that's the only way I can get uh, the bonus tracks. I don't see why they're bonus tracks. What is the point of a bonus track if it just comes on the album? And it's not like a special edition album, it's just the album. But, like, Amazon has the MP3 version available for download and it's automatically given to you when you purchase an album. Like a CD, they automatically, automatically let you download the same thing. But, uh, bonus tracks are not on the download. So you have to manually rip it, which is a pain. I can finally. That's probably a good road. Yeah! Norwegian Gothic Metal for to win. I tried to get into Elise, but their lyrics are a little weak for me. Like, the only one I like is uh, Der Letzte Tag, which is, of course, in German. And all the German commenters are like, weak! But even though I understand what she's saying, uh, that doesn't seem weak to me because it's not my mother language. So it doesn't bother me as much. It's just kind of weird. Dude, German bands, there's like... I don't know of many. I don't know if that's just because there isn't very many, like, German deathcore bands or gothic metal bands that I would... or have been exposed to, but, like, the only one that ever comes up in America is Rammstein. Everybody wants to quote Rammstein. Probably because they had like one song on Guitar Hero 3 or something, I don't know what it was. It's probably Fire Fry, that's what it was. I'll have to look it up, I bet it was Fire Fry. At my bowling alley I used to go to in Iowa, when I had friends, uh, they like to say, oh, we got all kinds of music. I put in some requests, and they didn't, they never had it. But, I mean, it wasn't even like death metal, it was just regular stuff, like, I did put in Ramstein for, I requested, what is it, uh, Ohne Dich, but they didn't have it. Of course, that's completely in German, so I wouldn't expect them to have that. I also put in... Uh, the only one they had was... Uh... Oh! Uh, that's the one they had. They had uh. So they had uh, they had mm, and they had... What do you call it? No. They had... It was Disturbed. It was Land of Confusion, which isn't even really Disturbed. But whatever. They had that one. I also requested... Uh, I think I asked for an In Flames song, but they didn't have that. So, really, when they said we have all kinds of music, with, was they had all kinds of rap, all kinds of pop, and all kinds of hip-hop, but they didn't have all kinds of music. And it kind of peeved me. Put my jimmies in a rustle. There, I did a vlog. Yay! I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna promise myself I'm not gonna cut this one out or let me like delete it. I'm not gonna delete it. And I'll just post it just to be able to say I did something. Just to let people know I'm not dead. And to get back into the game. I really hate everything in Blender now. 
I said it was cool. It is cool because technically it's it's neat that a tool can do all the things that Blender does, but for video editing it doesn't do very much compared to the other stuff. You can't even put text into it. Like the only way I ever got text into it was I rasterized an image in GIMP with text on it, a transparent image, and uh, imported that as a, an image into Blender and put it in there. Just like my little Blender logo there. It's an image. I have to write text in GIMP, rasterize it, save it to a file, import it to GIMP as an image, and then put it where I want it. <clears throat> That's a lot of work when I just want captions. Actually, I guess I could switch over to just using YouTube annotations because they have the title one is pretty good. I think Jake the Garden Snake uses that a lot because it looks good. It has a shadow on it too. Oh, you people. You make me mad. Stop existing. How dare you live! I'm starting to think I should just come out the other end. That sounded dirty. But anyway, I'm actually going to cut this here. So, until next time, 